Rock number three. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the garden. Uh, today we have a problem. I was working on the row cover here and there was frozen uh, ice on it. There was snow that had fallen and melted and then turned to ice and it was it was very heavy. And uh, people have told me for years uh, that this stuff is fragile and can break quite easily. People complain about it all the time. And I'd never had a problem. I thought they were just probably not careful enough. Yeah, it's pretty fragile. So this is two years old. Uh, this is its second year, rather. So maybe that added to its fragility. But <clears throat> I'm going to try to mend this. I, I looked online, and there are people that use duct tape, which uh, I could understand being people's first instinct uh, to use duct tape. But I'm going to try the teacher's duct tape. I'm an elementary school teacher. Teacher's duct tape is a glue gun. We do everything with glue guns. We fix headphones. We hang up stuff on the wall. Uh, Glue guns are great, teacher's best friend. We're gonna see if it's our best friend here. I'm gonna try and put glue on here and then press the two sides together. My hope is that the glue will, um, will saturate both sides and then form a really good seal. I worry that the cold might make it brittle so that it falls apart, but we'll find out. It's uh, Gardening is a grand experiment. So um, let me get it started and try not to burn myself but I'll burn myself for you. That's how committed I am. Um, all right, so I'm starting. Ah, I can feel glue on both sides. That's a good sign. And you can see, this is a lot more attractive than duct tape, I would think. We even have some white duct tape in our house and I was thinking about it. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm gonna try some duct tape. I didn't think it would work well, but I'm gonna try some duct tape and see how it compares. So I'm gonna, you can see this is a huge hole. I've got plenty to work with here. So we'll uh, just adding some glue, not too much glue, because it doesn't take much to get through these two layers. And it looks pretty good. There'll be a little, there'll be a little kink in the fabric there, I guess, but I don't think the plants are gonna mind. They're still gonna be more happy under this than they would be without it. So now, if you have a tiny hole, maybe your duct tape works. You let me know. Maybe you have uh, used duct tape and, and it just works a charm. But uh, I haven't seen anybody doing this. So my hope is this will be a great help to, to all of us to see. All right, we're going to try it with duct tape now. Um, I think this is going to be harder to apply, actually, because here i got to pull this up. This is... Says it's ferociously strong tape. Well, it's pretty ferocious. Um, I don't want to turn this into one of those infomercials where people uh, pull their hair out trying to fry an egg or something, and it's impossibly difficult without a product. I'm going to try to look good putting on this duct tape, but I'll tell you, it is a little bit more difficult actually because I got to position this stuff. Um, and it wants to stick places. It's a little awkward. It might be less awkward if I pulled the row cover off and put it on a table or something, but this is a big piece of row cover. It's, uh, it's about 25 feet long, and I just don't want to move it inside or to a table. So here I'm getting the duct tape on one side, and I'm going to stick the other side right here. And now the trick, I guess, is to get a second piece of duct tape. So I'm going to go grab that. And people say that the glue on the tape will actually go through the fabric and adhere to itself, which may be true. I can tell you right now, this doesn't look as pretty as uh, the other the, the hot glue looked. So just on that basis alone, I like my garden to be pretty. I mean, that's probably why you keep a garden. It looks a lot prettier than a lawn, just grass. So I'm gonna rub this together, trying to get that glue to adhere to itself and go through. So we have this section here, 
Right here, this is the hot glue, which uh, you probably can barely tell that it's even there. Um, and then this is our duct tape portion. Not as flexible, but it might be stronger. Who knows? Maybe I'll find out the hot glue idea was a bad one. Uh, it wouldn't be the first bad idea I've had in the garden. And, uh, but that's okay. We, uh, again, it's an experiment. All right, let's see how it looks on the row. That'll work. Or will it? We'll find out. I'm going to actually uh, update this video in a couple months uh, when winter's over and we pull the row cover off. I'm going to do a little tug test and we're going to see what works. Duct tape or hot glue? Nope. I can't wait. So I'm going to do a slightly scientific test to see what works better, hot glue or duct tape. I have here a little apparatus. I've got a handy dandy bucket, bucket and I've got my... Uh, uh, strips of uh, row fabric here connected with our glue, hot glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some rocks in here. <clears throat> it can support a bucket, um, but if I put rocks in here, the question is, is that going to uh, pull this uh, connection apart, or is it, uh, I don't know, let's see what it can do. So, let's we'll start with one rock. I can hear it stretching a little. Okay. <clears throat> These rocks are not all the same size or anything, but we'll use the same rocks for both tests. Rock number two. It's kind of a big rock. Here we go. Rock number three. Oh! <laughs> all right. So it ripped, but it ripped down here. It did not rip. Uh, at our seam here made with hot glue. So I, I'm going to do my own little stress test here. Just going to caveman it. See if I can rip it at the seam. Even then, it won't rip at that seam. So it would seem that it would seem that uh, creating a seam with hot glue actually makes it much stronger than uh, your regular um, row fabric here. Now this is a this is one of those row fabrics that is uh, not woven. It's just been, uh, I don't know how they put it together. But um, give me a minute and I'm gonna set up the same test now with uh, pieces of row fabric that are connected using duct tape. All right, we're gonna try this with the duct tape seam now. Uh, I'm wondering if the fabric is gonna rip here or if the duct tape will come loose. This duct tape seems really tough, but yeah, we'll find out. Here we go. Rock number one. Little guy. Rock number two. Oh, I can hear it stretch. Rock number three. Let's see. It hasn't broken yet. I'm almost to the ground with it. It's stretching so much. I've got another rock here. Uh, it won't have far to fall though. I think I'm gonna have to, hmm, have to jerry rig this one. Let's see. Well, let me do this. Here we go. All right, rock number four. Rock number four didn't do it. Hold on a second. Okay, I've got a lot of rocks. <laughs> which are really handy for holding the row cover down, right? So, uh, here we go. I'm gonna gently lift this guy. And this is rock number five. There it goes. <laughs> All right, five rocks. Well, look at where it broke. It did not break at the seam, it broke just under it. Um, so the seam remains intact. Okay, so what I would say is this uh, duct tape works fine. It just looks really ugly, and it's not as easy to use as the uh, the other stuff. I think maybe this is a little bit thicker. I might not have. I might have been a little too unscientific here and introduced uh, an extra variable. Um, in either case, though, 
the seam with duct tape or with hot glue was stronger than the fabric by itself. And so all of you folks that are like, oh, I don't want to buy row cover because it's just going to break anyway and it's too expensive and no, go get it. And when it breaks, fix it. And I'm willing to bet it's going to last you a lot of years, actually. So give it a try. Thanks for coming to the garden. Please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. I, I would really uh, love to see more subscribers and uh, be able to share with more people things I'm learning in my garden. Mm -hmm.